Hello, I'm John Fitch, MIT science reporter. We're at MIT's Lincoln Laboratory in Lexington, Massachusetts, a major research organization which has played an important role in developing this nation's defense system since World War II. And although Lincoln Laboratory is perhaps best known for its work in radar and advanced warning systems, it has also seen the beginning of the computer era and has made many important contributions to it. To learn about some of its recent work in improving the relationship between man and this important machine, we talked with Professor Stephen Coons, an associate professor of mechanical engineering at MIT and co-director of the computer-aided design project. John, we're going to show you a man actually talking to a computer in a way far different than it's ever been possible to do before. Surely not with his voice. No, he's going to be talking graphically. He's going to be drawing. And the computer is going to understand his drawings. And the man will be using graphical language that we call Sketchpad that started with Ivan Sutherland some years ago when he was busy working on his doctoral degree. We met next with Mr. Timothy Johnson of the Design Division of Department of Mechanical Engineering and asked him to show us this computer and its Sketchpad. We're at the TX2 console at Lincoln Lab. This machine, the large computer, it was built by Lincoln Lab in 1956 as a, a research machine. Now, how does this differ from a computer that would be used to run your bank account or something like that? Well, it's designed specifically for a study of manual intervention where the man can command the computer to take different courses of action while the program is running. You can see we have several unusual pieces of input-output equipment here. We have uh, a scope, a knob. These are unusual at the time. Uh, and push buttons, toggle switches. We have several other related devices. This made the TX2 a prime candidate for the sketchpad developments back in 1961, and it remained the program in this machine, so it would become a coherent partner in graphics so the man can communicate with the machine. Now, how do you actually go about communicating with a, a computer in a graphical sense? Well, we are using an oscilloscope here, which is much like a, uh, a TV set, except it's being driven by the computer. Uh, in order to get the information into the computer, we have to draw somehow on this display. And we use the light pen. This light pen is a photodiode. It's a receiving device, much like an electric eye. And it will tell the computer when a single point of light has been brightened within its field of view, that is seeing that point. Now, these letters ink here, uh, which well, is a brand of humor by Ivan Sutherland, because what we had to do is ink up this light receiving device somehow. These letters are really a series of small points. All of them are sensitive to the light pen. And if I bring the light pen such that it sees any one of these points, it immediately commands the computer to display a cluster of points.